Hi, I'm Alexa, and I'm going to share with you some thoughts on barefoot running. Um, this is a book that I just read called Barefoot Running. Simple. And I've been doing it for about a year. The reason I started is because, um, two reasons. One, I saw some crazy people in my neighborhood doing it, and I thought, look at those crazy people running barefoot. And the other reason is because I hurt myself, um, actually two years ago running a marathon, the Oakland Marathon, running downhill, um, down Lincoln, really fast and I was already feeling my IT band starting to hurt and by the time I got to the bottom of the hill which was mile 11 I was in terrible pain for my right IT band. It's funny because now I don't remember what that feels like because the problem then transferred to my left hip which is also IT band because I changed my stride and proceeded to run another 15 miles, 15.2 miles with uh, this terrible pain. So don't ever do that point number one because you'll spend years recovering from it. Um, but then as a result I sort of kept on trying to find different ways to, after I more or less recovered to improve my stride and and stop having these IT band problems and I came across barefoot running and being a cheapskate and also being a fashionista and a frugalista I refused to buy those ugly ass shoes called Vibrams and so I started running <laughs> uh, in the neighborhood and um, just barefoot and it turns out that that is the way to do it you start without any shoes on because if you start with some vibrams or something you're gonna keep on running you know you're gonna go slap 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 and um, you're not improving anything what you want to do is do that ginger barefoot um, method of running that's that's what you're trying to do is is change your 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 running form to that ginger barefoot front forefoot form so anyway, over time I built up my strength in my feet and now actually I can run somewhat on trails. I can't run on rocky things. I can't really run on asphalt. I can run on sidewalk. I do a lot of beach running and grass running. Um, and I really enjoy it. I've saved probably almost $300 in running shoes. And I also just wanted to share a funny thing though. I, reading this book, Barefoot Running, it was kind of inspiring. There's some good stuff in here. But let me say, there is some pseudoscience in here. For example... These guys say um, that running grounds you. And I experienced this one time. I was running um, on the sidewalk, and an, a man came up to me and asked me why I was running barefoot. And people love to ask you, you know, why you're barefoot. And he said, are you doing it to ground yourself to, the, to Earth's energy? And I was like, oh, I never heard of that. Well, this book made me realize why people would say that. Um, here they say the earth has a frequency or heartbeat called the Schumann resonance of approximately 7.83 hertz. And this is the frequency our brains use to survive and thrive. And uh, NASA scientists have known this for years. In early space, space missions, astronauts became surprisingly weak and ill when they went into space and left the resonance of the earth behind. They now alleviate this distress by having a vibrational device attached to the ships that resonates at the Schumann resonance, matching the frequency of the earth. Um, so, I read this, and they, they, got, they also recommend, you know, you stand on some kind of freaking charged mat or something like that in your house to justify your, or to balance your energy and all that. And I, I'm thinking, come on, humans have worn shoes for uh, hundreds and hundreds of years. So I think this concept of grounding yourself to the earth, not just in terms of the fact that you're touching the ground all the time, touching grounded things, seems ridiculous. And then this idea that there's some sort of resonance and that they, they're putting it on ships, spaceships, really intrigued me. So I googled it and uh, sure enough, this is completely false. There is no such device on these uh, spaceships. And, um, and the, while the resonance, um, the Schumann resonance does exist um, actually somewhere in the atmosphere or, or between the atmosphere and the Earth's surface, something like that. Anyway, it's neither here nor there with running barefoot. So, in short, I would say run barefoot if you would like to rediscover a sort of a forefoot, midfoot way of running instead of a heel strike. Run barefoot carefully um, if you um, are maybe recovering from some long-standing injuries and need to find a different way to run because it's more energy conserving. And finally, run barefoot just because it's absolutely joyful and fun and silly and it makes you feel like a kid um, and you'll save money on running shoes. But don't run barefoot to ground yourself to the earth. 
or so that your body doesn't uh, implode like some space uh, space cadet. Um, <laughs> because that's just um, pseudoscience. So if you must buy Vibrams, I guess go ahead and buy Vibrams, but why not just run barefoot? And enjoy life. Don't hurt yourself. Put on shoes when you need to put on shoes. Don't run over hot coals or glass or rocks. Um, but enjoy life. Thank you.